Hi everybody, on October 27th, 2021, I received a notification on my Android phone from the GoPro Quick App, and it indicated, hey, there's a new firmware update for your GoPro Hero 10. I was very, very excited, so I went ahead and applied that update. And as a result, here's what happens to my GoPro camera. My camera is now in a constant reboot loop, powering on and off and on and off and on and off. So in this video, we're going to discuss how my camera got into this state. Uh, I will give you some advance warning that you do not want to apply firmware update 1.15 to your GoPro camera. Also note, as you'll see in this upcoming video, the update screen in the GoPro Quick app mentions a version 1.10 when they're updating the camera, but 1.10 is the release version of firmware as of September 16th of 2021. So don't update your camera until you find out that this has been resolved in some sort of messaging from GoPro. I assume because of this issue, they likely will not release 1.15 widely on their website. I think maybe there was just a bug or an error that they're pushing it out in their GoPro app as of 1027 anyway. This beeping might stop. It might take five minutes. It might take 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Eventually the timing might be right where this camera will actually power on again. In the meantime, to get it to stop, the only thing you can do is remove your battery. And if you're wondering, if you put the battery back in again, it's gonna start beeping again and you'll have to wait. And then hopefully eventually it goes away. Now, if you accidentally already have installed 1.15 in your camera and you want to get rid of it, then I would suggest that you take the memory card out, connect it to your computer, then go to the gopro.com website, download firmware version 1.10, extract the files from the zip file, put them into the folder on the SD card, name the folder, update, and then stick it in the camera, and that should successfully revert the camera back to 1.10. But if you want to find out how to avoid this and what happened to get it into the state, watch the rest of this video. I knew this new firmware was available because I got a notification in my notification bar from the Quick App that there is a new version available. So here we're going into the GoPro Quick App and selecting Control Your GoPro. Once the camera connects with the GoPro Quick App, then it will prompt me Hey Marcus, there is a new version of firmware that you could go ahead and download. Now here it's indicating the version is 1.10. When we apply this update, we will end up at 1.15, not 1.10. All right, at this point, I read all of this text, I consulted an attorney, and then I selected accept and continue. At this point, the file transferred from my Android phone to the GoPro camera. The overall time took 30 seconds. I have this video sped up as to not bore you with this transfer and watching the spinning wheel. At that point, it said it was installing the update. During the install update phase, the camera powered on and off several times to apply the update. And then eventually it indicated that the installation was complete and then the camera powered on and I decided to go check out the settings and found a huge firmware flaw. So after the firmware update has been completed via the GoPro Quick app, we can see on the screen that we have a new icon that's replacing the grid icon. This is the performance mode icon and this is where you're going to get yourself into trouble causing your camera to constantly reboot. From my experience, it's going to constantly reboot in firmware version 1.15, mainly via the selection of stationary tripod mode versus the other two modes. So my personal point of view is that you could use this firmware successfully if you leave it in video performance mode or battery mode, but definitely it will drive you crazy if you choose to leave it in the tripod mode. Um, we'll just do a quick verification here that I am on version 115 after updating via the GoPro app. Again, keep in mind that the GoPro app said I had an update and it referenced 1.10. So here we have camera info. 
and we can see version number 115. All right, let's cause the camera to crash itself over and over repeatedly. And that is done by selecting performance mode and selecting oops, the tripod stationary mode. It doesn't do it every time. You might be able to select this successfully two or three times, but then eventually you're going to get yourself in trouble and the camera will constantly reboot. Now on several occasions, it has self-recovered itself. Like it may be reset perhaps 15 to 30 times. And then eventually one of the times it actually then did power itself on. I've tried holding in the reset button for periods of time, removing the memory card, uh, removing the battery, putting the battery back in, and it just ends up in a constant reboot loop. Um, but then eventually sometimes it gets out. One time it didn't, so I went ahead and took out the micro SD card, went to the GoPro website, downloaded 1.10 firmware, put it in an update folder on the card, put it back in the camera, and I was able to get the device successfully back to 1.10 again. So typically all we need to do is just touch the screen sometimes in this tripod mode and it will cause it to be in an endless reboot. That time it worked successfully. You can see the indication there that it's in that mode. Also you can see the icon shows a tripod, which is very helpful to determine what mode you're in. There we're in battery mode, that was successful. I've never seen any crashing issues or constant rebooting issues with battery mode or this maximum video performance mode. These have been fine every single time I've selected them. It is this tripod mode which will cause the camera randomly to crash and then power cycle constantly. I'm just going to quickly do it. Here we're going back for a third time. And there we go. On the third occasion of setting it to tripod stationary mode, we have now caused the camera to end up in a constant reboot loop. And constant I use loosely because eventually, maybe in 15 or 60 or some amount of power cycles, for whatever reason, the timing of everything powering on probably works out okay, or then it will recover itself. All right, so that's how we ended up in this situation. And just to illustrate, here we've removed the battery from the GoPro camera. Put the battery back in the GoPro 10 camera. Hit the power button, turn it on. Will this cause it to successfully power up without powering off? No, it will not. So there you go. Pulling the battery is not going to resolve the constant reboot issue in case you were curious about that. And just to let you know, I love GoPro. I have my GoPro 10. I have my GoPro 10. I have my two GoPro 10s. And I have a GoPro 9, a GoPro 8, a GoPro 7, a GoPro Max, and a GoPro Fusion. So I'm slightly a GoPro fanboy. Uh, so far though with the GoPro 10, I've created three videos now about issues with the GoPro. It doesn't mean I hate the GoPro. I'm just kind of pointing out to people, hey, there's an issue. I want you to be aware of the issue to avoid you the headaches that I've had to go through. So I warned people on release day on September 16th that I was seeing overheating in my camera that you might want to hold off on purchase until you find out via other reviews if it's a common problem with the GoPro 10 comparatively to the GoPro 9. As it turns out, it is a problem with the GoPro 10 comparatively to the GoPro 9. So I was right about creating that video. So I kind of stand by saying, hey, there's a little bit of an overheating issue. I did take some slack from people who said, it's my fault, kind of, because I'm putting the GoPro in a car and it's an action camera. It's supposed to be used outdoors. You're not supposed to be putting it as a dash cam in your car. So that's not GoPro's problem. That's your problem. You're using the camera wrong. But I think a lot of people use GoPro cameras in the cars. This firmware release, 1.15, was going to address those issues by giving us a mode where we can set our expectations to be realistic. So we will select that mode, tripod mode, and it will disable some functionality of the camera and do things to reduce the heat of the camera so that it causes it not to shut off as quickly. So that's a very good goal. That's, I think, one of the only things that maybe GoPro could do. You can't redesign the hardware after the fact per se. So you just have to set these performance mode to set people to have realistic expectations. And so I think that's great. 
hey, the new release has come out, here's how you update your GoPro camera, and here's the new setting and the different options you have. So that's the video I actually set out to create today on October 27th, 2021. But I ended up with this video instead because I got my camera in this mode where it's constantly rebooting. So that's how we ended up right here today. I hope you don't have this issue. If you do, go ahead and revert back to 1.10 firmware by downloading the file from the GoPro website and putting it on your SD card and putting it in your GoPro 10 camera. I'm sure this issue is going to be resolved soon uh, and these modes are going to work perfectly and this is going to continue to be a great camera for lots of people including myself. I've loved the camera so far. It's a great camera. I love the higher frame rates. It allows me to do a lot of things in and around cars and vehicles in close proximity. And I haven't had a lot of overheating issues other than when I'm putting it inside the car underneath the glass. That's where it was kind of shutting down. Those are my experiences so far with the GoPro 10. I'll keep you updated if I have any more. And I hope to see you in a future video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you thought I'm way off base and wrong, make sure to give it a thumbs down. Uh, and then uh, please consider subscribing for the channel if you liked the video. And if you'd like, please watch some of my other videos. I have some on how-tos on GoPros and other cameras, as well as a lot of videos with cool cars in them for you to watch driving by down the road. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah.